Hi everyone, my name is Heather. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a good day today and I'm looking forward to sharing this project with you all. Um, it's been a, many months since I have shared anything here on my YouTube, so I just want to take a minute before I start bef to say thank you to all of you guys who have reached out to me. I know that I've been sharing some things on Instagram, so I just wanted to um, say thank you to those of you who have reached out, have sent me some type of kindness over these months. I am so appreciative of this community and how supportive you all have been. It makes me feel so grateful to have this place to come to. I think our creativity can be such a healing thing and it gets us through you know hard days hard times just all sorts of different things in life i think it's just a part of us and it's something that we turn to in those difficult times so yeah so with all of that said just thank you again and i am looking forward to joining back in with everyone and creating here again on youtube and sharing some projects that I've been working on. So today I'm going to be sharing this project that I was inspired to create from Cynthia of Jacinth Journals. She is an amazing creator. I adore her. She's on my design team and um, a few months ago she posted uh, this project, a similar project. It's not exactly the same, but she posted a similar project uh, for, actually it was for a design team project. So I'm going to post that link in the in the description box if you haven't seen it definitely check it out and if you have seen it maybe you want to see it again because it's been a little while so yeah so um i'm basically flipping through this is a digital kit that i have in my etsy shop called memoir and i am flipping through it has a lot of beautiful book pages different french documents some music sheets different things like that the typography in this kit is beautiful. I love the different variations of like the creams and the browns and just really love this kit. I think it would be great for people who just really like the typography or also if you don't have access to a lot of old things, these are just something that I feel like you could use all the time just by ripping off little pieces. And the best part about digitals is you can just print them over and over, which is absolutely wonderful so um i'm just kind of picking out some of the pages that i think i might use i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna use but just getting a few ready for the project ahead um the pieces of the project like the little flaps that are joined with the bow those are the ones that i like to put like something really pretty like a pattern some type of color or a floral or like you can see the blue to the right I'm gonna be using this print this wallpaper print for those flaps in this coming project so I love love that floral and I think it's gonna look so pretty so I'm showing you here the one that I've already created it's blue and I like when you flip it over there's a tuck spot there and basically there's two pockets in the front part and when you flip it over there's a tuck spot so that's how this kind of comes together. And on that one, I created a red one and put a tag on the back. But um, yeah, so there's a tag inside there and that just comes out. And then there's another pocket under that and I have a little picture in there, this cute little girl. And so basically there's two pockets in there. You can fit a lot of different pieces in there. It would be a great ephemera holder for your journal or a pen pal project 
so i'm just showing you that tag that i created and i just tucked it right in the back i love how that envelope flap comes over and then that goes in the first pocket and then i'm just sliding that right underneath where the bow goes so that those little gold polka dots can still peek out just love i love how all that stuff just peeks out the fun part about this well this is the red one um for this one i created a journal card and that is I backed it with Heather from Rose Hill Papers handmade paper and I just slide that out and then there's a picture in the second pocket I love that little girl but what I was starting to say is I love how like every time you pull a piece out there's just like another something under it it's like you keep pulling out these different layers and then you see something new every time so it kind of changes the look of it so yeah, so that just slides back underneath those pretty flaps. And I love the bow part. I think the bow is so pretty. So yeah, so then the tag comes out and um, you could even make that envelope flap. Like there's a lot of different ways you could do this. You know, you could use your imagination and make it flip. When you watch Cynthia's video, she did like an interactive kind of like uh, ephemera booklet type thing so I'm showing you the envelope that we're going to use it is just a basic um, letter size envelope I've, I should have measured that I'm not sure what the size is but it's not a business size it's more like what you would send a letter in and I just got it from my office supply store so you just want to open up the envelope make sure that all the sticky parts open all the way and then I'm just going to start gluing this wallpaper print to the two flaps um, that make up part of the envelope. So it's kind of like the sides. That's the part that you will want to glue your the like your pretty pattern to, or like I think it really is good to use something that has some color and then maybe some neutrals under, or if you're brave enough to mix and match. A lot of different patterns that would be kind of fun too to like do that but I'm not always so good at that I'm like I always tend to if I use a certain color I usually always pair it with neutrals like I love seeing whenever other creators just like mix and match all these patterns and colors like for some reason it is so hard for me to do that so I tend to go with a more balanced neutral palette so yeah so anyways, I'm just ripping. This is another important part that I think for um, this project. I really like the ripped edges of of the, the paper. So because the envelope is white, whenever you rip the edges, it kind of gives a little bit of a white kind of grungy look. And I'm not going to be inking that. I just really like it. And I think whenever it's all finished, because all the edges are ripped, it gives like a cohesive look but you could certainly use your scissors and cut it more precisely you could cut it and then ink it to get rid of the white if you don't like it but i'm showing you here to fold that like the flap over to the back and then what i like to do is just fold it again just a slightly past where i folded it the first time because it makes it lay flatter so you fold it once and then go a little bit farther, fold it again. And then it makes that flap just lay nice and flat. So you want your two side flaps to be covered with your pretty paper. The bottom flap of the envelope is on the left and then the right top flap is on the back. You might have to rewatch the video if you're gonna make this to kind of like <laughs> to kind of not get confused but once you get it it's super easy so now I'm gonna be covering that back on the back of the envelope um, with the wallpaper print again so basically if you want to use that same wallpaper print or actually any print um, I printed them at five by seven five inches by seven inch size on my printer so that was a really good size to get the pattern to be kind of compatible with the different the size of the envelope and you know what else i'll make sure that i put 
I'll measure that envelope and I will put that into the description box just in case you want to know what size envelope I used. So, so yeah, so I'm just going to be adding papers to all the different places, all the different flaps. I'm putting a different paper on each one. So I'll go ahead and uh, let some music play for a while and you'll just be seeing me adding papers to all the different pieces.
So here you'll see me trying out different papers for the back. I end up like trying to figure out if I want like another pattern back there, but ultimately I think that looks really nice, but ultimately I end up going with that first one. So here I'm taking just a little piece of tissue paper that has some gold polka dots on it and I'm going to add it, just a little piece of it to that background layer. I love the idea of just like every time you, like I said earlier, like every time you remove something, there's just another layer of something pretty underneath. So I just like that that's a little bit unexpected. I love polka dots, so I'm just, I like that touch of gold there.
So now we're gonna be adding these eyelets to those floral flaps. And you're just gonna use your crocodile to punch a hole in each side. Um, if you don't have a crocodile, then you would need to use a, an eyelet setter. So um, yeah, so I'm just punching my holes there and then I'm gonna add the eyelets and that's where the ribbon goes through. So I'm going to be using this white chiffon ribbon to put through the eyelets and I'm just going to use my scissors to kind of help get it through from underneath. So just use something like pokey to help you get it through. And then once you have the bow tied, that left flap, the one that's like brown, that one, you don't have to glue that or anything. Like once the bow is tied, it holds that in place so then that becomes the actual pocket and um, yeah so once you tie the bow you don't really have to untie the bow to access any of the ephemera that's on the inside of the pockets. So now I'm going to use this rusty paper clip to just tuck underneath that front flap and that's going to hold that back one kind of down so that whenever we put the tag in, it stays in. And here I'm just going to show you how I'm going to use this little picture and put it in the pocket. I'm showing you all the different like little tucks and pockets that you can use. So there's three different ones. Isn't that so cute? So yeah, so I'm gonna put that in the pocket there. And then I have that embossed paper to the left. That I made into a journaling card and I'm going to tuck that inside too and um, some hand paint and paper on the back. Or it's like a stamp. And then it looks so cute, I love that. And then on the back we're gonna add a pretty tag. And I like to make them so they kind of peek up, like peek out on the top. But obviously you can interchange your ephemera. You don't have to use a tag. You know what I mean? Like you could do whatever you like. So we're all done. So yeah, so that is actually, it's actually not that hard to do once you get it figured out. So I hope that you enjoyed watching me create these and I am actually going to put these in my Etsy shop, so if you're interested in them, I'm going to list them whenever this video goes up. And I want to add this little lady to the back of this one. So yeah, so Cynthia, thank you so much for the inspiration for this, and for all of you, I hope that you enjoyed watching. Thank you.